Hey guys, John here. We have some new spy photos of the 2025 sixth generation Toyota 4Runner coming from Arizona. Let's check them out. So I originally saw these photos on Instagram, but of course, 4Runner 6G has the more high res version of them, which is awesome. But this was found in Arizona. And I want to address something real quick, guys, before I show you all four of these photos. And we do have kind of a photo of the front end, not a whole lot, but I want to dissect the photos. Is the fact that a lot of you are thinking that because this 4Runner is working in the United States, in Michigan at Toyota's uh, testing grounds, in Arizona near the proving grounds, that this truck is not gonna be made in Japan anymore. Well, the fifth gen 4Runner back in 2010, guys, was spotted in the United States. We all know that that was built in Japan. But not only that, the LX600 was also spotted in California, and that is built in Japan. So I do have high hopes that the 4Runner will still be built in Japan. Again, I don't think Mexico can support it, and I really don't want an American-made 4Runner, as bad as that sounds. But let's go ahead and dissect these photos now, guys. The rear photo that we have looks just like the one that Car and Driver had the other day. Someone was saying in the comments that the bar that we saw may just be DOT standard for having a fully camouflaged vehicle like this because we do have the little bit of a reflector right there and it may also be a reflector that goes across the side. One thing too to notice that I didn't point out is that the exhaust pipe is going to be on the driver's side of the 4Runner now. Still body on frame, gas tank most likely on the passenger side. That's how all the TNGF vehicles are. And the new 4Runner will be on that same platform. But this photo here is awesome because we kind of get a side profile picture now of the 4Runner. And I want to address something in the back when we get to another photo. But we can see in the front, because this was a concern to some people, that we do have six lugs. So the other photos that um, car and driver had, they were kind of hard to see a little bit, but we do have six lugs still on the 4Runner. You could tell that the front of the kind of wheel arch here is humped just a little bit. We can even tell that with the back too. These are definitely like TRD off-road wheels that are from the Tacoma. They look the exact same. Even down here too, from where the door's at, it looks kind of the same as the Tacoma. I really hope, I'm getting nervous about the 4Runner, like I'm super pumped about it, but I am getting nervous. I, I really hope that it's not a carbon copy of the Tacoma like the Sequoia is with the Tundra. We see the steering wheel, but we don't see a whole, whole lot. The mirrors look the exact same as the current one slash new Tacoma. For all the people that say this is gonna be the exact same as the Land Cruiser, look at this front windshield. This front windshield is raked almost as much as this 4Runner, or actually potentially a little bit more than this 5th Gen 4Runner, because the 5th Gen actually kind of does have a more upright angle of a windshield, but not as big as the Land Cruiser. So this 4Runner has a very raked front windshield right here, making it significantly different than the Land Cruiser and GX. So they are not gonna be carbon copies of each other. And I don't see this door right here having like a hump on it like the GX and Land Cruiser. I mean, it may, but I feel like this is just gonna go straight across. And also right here on the back, we don't know how angular the C pillar is gonna be, but the coverings on this 4Runner, I don't know if it's just like tugging against it in a way, but I, I just, I feel like this is like the back angle right here of the C-pillar, which is very iconic on the 4Runner. We do have a big door right here. It still does enter the 4Runner right on the uh, back axle right there. But the rumors had it with this C-pillar getting a little bit more upright on this generation to allow for easy ingress and egress. And again, we can't really see the back window. Like Toyota has all of this just uh, covered up really nicely. But we do see a bigger and better photo right here. And what I was talking about with the rear end guys, is this looks bigger than the current generation 4Runner, which is nice. I really honestly hope that this 4Runner is growing a little bit to be the exact same size as the Land Cruiser and GX. I feel like that is the perfect size vehicle. I am still team roll down window. They, have, they are covering the crap out of this and the D pillar looks like the same as the fifth gen back here. I mean, I know it's super hard to see through this camouflage. But this D pillar right here, I'm just imagining this window coming down. We have the rear spoiler there. I am still team roll down window. And the fact that there's white over here kind of makes me think that the rear taillights may integrate themselves into the rear quarter panel a little bit more. The current 4Runner kind of does that, but not a whole, whole lot. 
And then coming down to this last photo that we have, it does look like a bigger SUV, nice and tall, but very Forerunner vibes, which I like. But what do you guys think about the fifth gen, or sorry, sixth gen Forerunner? We've been saying fifth gen for so long, for like 15 years. So I think it's gonna be awesome. Team roll down rear window, still made in Japan, I hope. Tacoma powertrain, which is great. If you guys want the six cylinder, buy this fifth gen right now, okay? But the four cylinder is coming, potentially the hybrid variant as well for the Forerunner. I'm very curious how they're gonna do that with the Land Cruiser as well. And maybe three row SUV. They may have three rows, I'm not 100% sure. The last generation, the fifth generation, has it on the SR5 and also the Limited. I don't see why they wouldn't take that away from the 4Runner, and I'm kind of hoping that it does grow a little bit in size. When you sit in a Land Cruiser and a GX, you're gonna realize you're like, dang, this is actually a pretty nice size. It's not overly big, not way too small. It's the perfect size, man. I really hope that they do that with the new 4Runner. But guys, I appreciate you all watching as always, and I will catch you in the next one. All right, see you later.